the accounting uh, has to be very clear and crisp and perfect clean you know and uh, also the complaints that year on year that we do uh, you have to be absolutely conscious i think as a, as huses we were all from the fundamentally from the day one we were very clear about our accounts were actually open to the the employees before it was public that means that everybody knows exactly what revenues comes in where we actually spend it so that's a kind of an approach that we took uh, any inputs uh, paul uh, sarita that you have on uh, on uh, the accounting uh, practices best accounting practices that you follow <clears throat> Uh, uh yes yes uh, thanks a lot for this uh, now see, what we have done is you now based on you know, whatever we prepared the statutory audits and all uh, apart from that you know we have done the peer review audits we have appointed who are uh, very experienced people and wherein we could uh, do the five years financial statement of has been done after that you know, we have to audit them and uh, we do you audit them that is one and the same and there is no much different and of the scope of that idea uh sarita can you yeah. can you repeat uh, if it is possible because uh, we yeah as uh, uh, as a part of the preparation we got uh, peer review done uh, for uh, for the last 5 years financials uh, uh, of our uh, of our um, company and uh, which was very helpful it was uh, done by uh, 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 statutory auditors who had uh, great experience in that field and that helped us a lot uh, in keeping our financials uh, in a proper way and apart from that uh, we also ensured that all our statutory payments uh, were paid on time there was no liability uh, towards the government and uh, and also we also ensured that our revenues were always above the cost which were uh, which as a company we were incurring these were the steps which we had taken um, uh, so that we could go ahead with uh, uh, to the next platform nsc platform okay yeah thank you i think uh, uh, it's so uh, you, you might have seen that you know it is really uh, while on the other side uh, we also have uh, you know naresh and jyoti and uh, rest of the teams were really working on the uh, focusing on uh, sales and revenues i think that is very very you know important uh, so i would like to just uh, move a bit uh, uh, before we get on to the um, you know next uh, aspect is um, uh, so how did we approach uh, to this um, uh, segment so one of the thing that we did as huses also that uh, we kind of helped the sme exchanges uh, initially in terms of uh, doing a lot of road show because as a, as huses we have been working since 2002 with all the msmes in the country and that is where uh, uh, our reach across the country in terms of msmes was there and we were really promoting this as a as an opportunity to generate finances for uh, small mid sized enterprises and that's how we really got very close in terms of understanding how the bsc uh, and uh, sme was exchange was formed and you know we were there from uh, all the time to really monitor what's happening and then the nsc emerge uh, platform came in so all these were um, we were really helping uh, jyoti was helping in the north and uh, uh, our teams in south along with naresh and everybody was helping in uh, uh, creating some kind of a road shows even for the exchanges that was the first thing that's where we got uh, really uh, very close to the uh, concept of uh, an ipo etc and then uh, most of the things that uh, we did is during this part we are also kind of a built relationship with the merchant bankers we actually gone through so many presentation probably would have gone through more than 100 times the presentation about how an exchange uh, is going to work and you know how an sme is going to be benefited uh, into this uh, and then we actually looked at uh, because of that relationship we also looked at how um, the uh, appointment of the um, um, bankers uh that uh, we have to do much in bankers so we spoke to much in bankers and you know they actually helped us to put the you know documents together so naresh your inputs on um, you know the how the uh, you know when the msme exchange has come in uh, would you like to share some ideas in terms of when the exchange came up yeah it was like a different experience for someone who 
as very very small owners to see really uh, how they can make the whole uh, balance sheet transparent to other people and the education which uh, msme uh, exchange actually done for the people who are their sme owners itself is a very very great initiative to make the things proper pay the taxes on time and make sure that the balance the the kind of complete sheets are very very transparent and very clear and that itself is a huge lot of um, effort which someone has to put in for those kind of thing because it's like uh, the been for years together uh, they have to do the paperwork and making it done that's that's what i said yeah so rest of the things are on normal because each business wanted the profitability each business wants that uh, uh, growth in the market but when it comes to uh, being compliant being transparent being uh, someone to be proud enough that okay they have been clean and neat so that's something which uh, they have to really do it well exactly